or back here, but I assume that's to provide some little cushion or something. I would assume the way they shipped the assembly would be the way it goes together. Yeah. You know, logic would dictate that, but we've, we've learned already that logic does not exist in I this I guess world. what this does actually is when you tighten down on this nut. Spring loads it. Yeah, instead of putting all the pressure on the casting. And that's how they keep them from breaking. Mm-hmm. Because it does not show the spring washer in the manual. It just says your carriage bolt, the washer, and your bushing. That's our serrated washer. It's hard to see from that picture, but... I always rave about it, but it's neat that you have these. I love yeah, this all thing, this stuff. This was the latest edition, and this thing actually is... Like, for this, a perfect example in the assembly manual, because this was done by Fisher. You know, the Fisher manual shows you some complete assembly units, but it doesn't show you the individual pieces and parts like the assembly manual does. So this parts manual is actually kind of handy in this case, because when we look in the Fisher manual... The stack of GTO books. Yeah. Wick is intense. I love it. Where was our top stuff? Top. Some people would be like, that's overdoing it. Well, guess what? It's not. Yeah. So we get photos in here, which are kind of cool. And, you know, some blow ups like that. But we don't get this individual parts breakdown like here. Uh -huh. yeah. So um, yeah. that's where it's kind of handy to have the little extra deal. Although this does have um, helpful information in it. For instance, um, yeah, the, uh, where's that adjustment thing? That was pretty comical. Oh yeah, they gave us no information. If side roof rails are too high or too low over side windows, proceed as follows. Upright top to half position, loosen the bolt securing control link, adjust the trap control link as required and tighten bolt gee well, thanks. as required well yeah that's awesome what's as required <laughs> so we now know that when you push this up this pushes this down and when you pull this down this pulls this up but it doesn't say that anywhere yeah it doesn't say that in the book it's just like why don't you just go out and try this and you'll either get yeah. yourself better or you're gonna really fuck yourself yeah just as necessary all right so i'm going this i'm going with this going with it Shut up. Wick's gonna run with it and here's the kit even though it says 70 to 72 it doesn't really it does. yeah it doesn't matter did you order it for 69 right I don't know I just I saw this picture of this thing and I said I'm gonna try that you're like I'm buying it I don't care yeah because that looks the closest of anything I've seen and you know what's kind of funny about this kit is that other chingadero we have over there that guy this chingus yeah that's not even in here See this now guy, that, the one that we yeah and that's supposed to go in some day. some other top bushing but you'll notice it's not in this kit so I, I actually feel like this is not a correct part and what's interesting is with these serrations you would expect this bolt to go in something that was adjustable but we know from our fisher body manual of 1969 that there's only three adjustments on this top there's the the forward rail from where the latch is there's this control link that we're fooling with here. What's the other one? There's one more. The, at the, uh, the latch, right? Okay, latch. The latch, the control this link. One. And the one, the, the set screw in the center. Oh yeah, that's right. That has a minuscule amount of adjustment. Yeah, but you can totally dial so, yourself out with it. But there's one. nothing else that can be adjusted, so that part makes no sense. And in our minds right now, anyway. Just, you can see this is the top pivot bolt. And that's where I think they called for that thing to go. But we don't yeah. really care too much because we're really mostly interested in this thing here. And I bought these because this looked very much like that serrated washer. The serrations aren't very good and they're not the correct size. 
And this is look a, at the quality on this is much nicer though. Look at the yeah. edges. Yeah, look at that. That's look like, at how shitty like, that is. It's like a sand casting. And then in, in in the actual serrations itself. Yeah, the serrations are pretty horrific. Yeah, and then these are. These yeah, this are is pretty. Itching. This is much crisper. This is probably high pressure molding technology. This is probably um, made in China. Actually, you can almost see a crack there that this thing I probably wouldn't even last very long. And after that one that we made, that this came go? out pretty well. Oh yeah. But like we were talking last Friday, I wonder how much stress we put in this thing by <laughs> heating it up to drill this hole out. Drilling it and cutting it. And then grinding it and cutting, the, cutting this uh, tit off of it. So I think this could have worked, but who knows, we might have tightened it up and it would have just gone whoosh, like the old one. Like the original. So oh. I feel pretty good about what we got. So I'm gonna go put these in and then after we finish with Fiona, we can uh, get back to trying to adjust the top here and see what happens. Gotcha. Multitasking. But I'm stoked that we uh, got this. I was kind of kind of concerned if we were ever going to find the right pieces and parts without having to buy an entire top. Then, <laughs> or another car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or another car. So this is 150 bucks and another 150 bucks. That's 300 bucks. Actually, it's not really that. It's $287 for these two things. And all of that, but we don't need Yeah, that. we don't care about that. We just want this. So uh, if I had to buy a top, I think the cheapest top frame I found was uh, 1100 bucks, right around 1100 bucks. So I would have made these 550 a piece. <laughs> so and if you look at it that way, we got a deal. Yeah. Smoking <laughs> deal. Only $150. Oh, $140. Yeah, $143, $144 bolt. Sold. Yeah. But who'd when? Have, who'd have thunk it? I thought it was crazy that this was 40 five dollars yeah and i still think that's crazy actually. and it's a shitty cast piece mm -hmm. yeah this hat this costs like 25 cents to make if the yeah it's not as good as what you got i mean the plastic there. bag cost another penny so they got maybe 26 cents in this thing that's the bag these came in man i wonder if i wish then there was a tag in there i'd be like does it have a part number because we'd buy like yeah it doesn't i'd i'd be like wait go buy like three more sets just to hoard just for fun well, now we know where to get it, at least. Yeah. Hopefully we never need it again, though. No, I hope not. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. On it. Uh-oh. Rick's got the headlight. That's it. Going to work. Yeah, that's important now. 